In this episode of Drinking Made Easy, we march in to the Lilac City. We make some vintage cocktails. As long as I know we're talking about the yes. same thing. Monkey balls. Yes. Get in a shootout at the Spokane Corral. You hear me? And I pour Steve the city's tallest shot. <laughs> it's Drinking Made Easy, Spokane. I'm Zane Lamprey, and my job is to drink. I'm traveling around with my mascot, Steve McKenna, and my buddy, Pleplius, as we explore the local drinking cultures, customs, and cocktails. Along the way, we'll soak in the local flavor in an effort to make drinking easy. Next, we head over to Northern Lights. I send Steven to grab us a few beers while I head out to the patio and talk shop with brewery founder, Mark Irvin. We start with the chocolate dunkle. One dunkle for you, sir. Dunkle, Shane. Dunkle, dunkle very much. Dunkle for you. Dunkle. Cheers. <sighs> All right, now I feel fit to do the scene. What is a dunkle? Um, dunkle just means dark in German. Oh. So it's a dark beer. Um, traditionally, they're lager beers uh, brewed in Germany. This is not a traditional Dunkel, okay. uh, pure and simple. It's kind of its own entity, but uh, it has a lot of the same ingredients and flavor profile that a Dunkel would have. And there's some alcohol in this too, so it's six and a half percent. So, I mean, it's not a little beer. This is then not a session beer? For guys like you, I'd say that it's probably session Are material. we having a session? Are we all <laughs> friends right now, sessioning right now? From the chocolate Dunkel, we move to the blueberry cream. There's two things happening here. There's blueberry, cream. Yeah. So the cream ale is the style of beer that it essentially that I introduced the fruit to. Okay. Which is just a light blonde ale. Why light. do they call it a cream? There was some history behind that. It was the name that was tagged to it. It was a blend uh, between um, a lager and an ale. And before refrigeration and such, they wanted to try to produce a beer that tasted a lot like a lager beer. The, the ale brewers did. So what they did was they brewed oh. beer that had all the ingredients of a lager beer, but they fermented it with ale yeast at ale temperature. Okay. So you end up with a very similar product, but a little more fruity, estery kind of flavor to it. It's not creamy in the sense of like mm -mm. cream and, and milky, but I, right. I guess it's a little bit more viscous. Yeah. Like the higher viscosity than a regular beer or something? It, it's that... true. It's true. The, the cream ale tag doesn't seem to fit in a, in yeah. a lot of ways. Yeah. But that's how it came about. Right. What they did was they took the ale yeast and they pitched it into a batch of what they would have been their typical lager beer. Right. And because it's fermented at warmer temperatures, it produces more esters, which is the fruity component. Got it. Derived out of fermentation. But they can be very similar. In other words, I ferment my cream ale at a, at a cooler than normal ale temperature because I don't want it to be quite as fruity as it would normally produce. Generally speaking, the cooler the temperature, whether it's ale or lager yeast, the less esters that will be produced. Different yeast uh, thrive at different temperatures. Right. Then, how do the blueberries figure in? We add the blueberries right at the beginning of fermentation. The yeast is then acting on the sugar from the blueberries, yep. as well as the malted barley. Right, exactly. Okay. So is that producing more alcohol? Yeah, absolutely, oh. yeah, okay. more alcohol. And the yeast consume the sugars in the fruit. I mean, they just gobble it up. So you also do a drink that combines the both of these. Mm hmm The chocolate dunkle. The chocolate dunkle. And the blueberry cream. Northern Lights also has a drink that combines both of these beers called the Black and Blue. And it's quite tasty, actually. I really like that. A big head, like you. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a racing beer, a session beer? Yeah, with the blueberry in there, it's definitely a racing beer. Yeah. Racing beer. One, two, three, go. And yeah, they're off. All three get off to a clean start, but Mark drains his pint in record time. Lamprey comes in second, and McKenna oh. just gives up. Well, I saw he gave I up. losing. Wow, is that your strategy in life, too? No. <laughs> Come on, Mark! <laughs> 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 